What's going on you guys? It's your Huggable Hipster here and welcome back to my channel. I am so happy that it's Monday. It's the start of a new week. It's the start of a new everything. There's so many different updates I have for you guys. We're going to go just right into it. We're going to discuss the elephant in the room. Actually, technically not an elephant in the, anymore because I was doing some vague tweets here and there. I was being mysterious in the discord and it all led to this. You're looking at the new freelance video editor for Game Informer, and I am beyond elated. Uh, I feel like only, a, a, you know, girly, squeamish, just excited noises coming out of my body would do how I feel justice. Uh, this was in the works for a few weeks. Twitter heard it first, and then my Discord heard it, and now you guys are hearing about it, because I needed to make sure that everything was uh, official, that everything was good to go. Um, we're going to be talking about other things in the video, but I wanted you guys to know about this and i wanted to tell you i was just like, so excited about this like this literally happened out of nowhere after i posted a tweet but i needed to be able to get work because you know as a video editor first and a youtuber second always finding work and making money in this industry is very difficult but when you're on a roll and you stay on a roll it's really it's it, it's it's so good not only for like for me personally for my mental hygiene i always need to be working i always need to be doing something working on a client project working on my own projects i always need to be doing something you know saying hey if anybody needs a video editor i charge like 50 dollars per video and whatnot and you know uh one of the people from Game Informer reached out to me and I thought that that was so cool. Uh, we already followed one another on, on Twitter. Shout out to Alex. You're awesome. And the rest is history. And I now work freelance for Game Informer. I also have another client that I got exactly at the same time <laughs> that I got Game Informer, which is also incredibly amazing. If I could right now, I would like jump up and down and squeal and just scream out into the universe because all of my dreams right now are coming true and I'm so incredibly excited about all of it. <laughs> And it's strange, like I went to school for psychology. I thought I was going to be a psychologist, but the life that you plan out isn't necessarily the life that you are going to live. It's kind of like the journey of Pretty Little Liars. You think you know who A is, but you don't know who A is. My first project that I did will be linked down below so you guys can check it out. But yeah, I again, I'm just so excited to be working with Game Informer as a freelancer. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So stay tuned for future projects. So next thing up on the agenda, this is going to be a bit of a sour one, so I better take a sip of coffee for this. On a scale of 1 to 10, that is 5,642. So I will not be finishing the game Halo. Um, I said before in a previous video that I did that there were so many crashes, which you guys saw. You saw them in the video and you saw how kind of annoying it got. Um, but the long and short of it is that those crashes are still continuing. And when I play the game, not only is it incredibly buggy, but it is very slow. It's, it's slow mechanically, not slow story wise, but slow mechanically. But everything runs at a very slow pace from my perspective. Maybe it's because this thing is kind of going on the way out of backwards compatibility, unfortunately. Um, a lot of people are telling me that maybe it's not backwards compatible anymore, and that's why I'm having so many issues with it. But yeah, it was if it, it's really rough because honestly, I really wanted to do, as you guys know, I wanted to do a playthrough of Halo 2 on the channel. So what I might do is after I finish the reviews for this quarter, I am going to go straight in and play Halo 3. I'm going to try try crossing my fingers, try my darndest to do a playthrough of Halo 3 because that's originally what I had planned. And then I'm going to try to play it on my own if things don't work out for a playthrough, but I, you know, I'm going to do the best that I can on that front and update you guys as things go. Again, I'm sorry that there's no playthrough of Halo 2. I'm sorry that I can't review that as of right now, but with technology how it is and with the pacing how i need to keep it for both a playthrough and a review i just it's not feasible for me to waste my time trying to make a game work because it takes it takes so much time whenever games have bugs in them or whenever there is an older game that has bugs in it and it makes my job 10 times more difficult to try to review the game in a timely manner that way you guys get it in a timely fashion so yeah, I don't want to take forever with things. I want to be able to play it, enjoy it, you know, review it, critique it, and then have it out for you guys. That way people who are newer to the franchise can see the review and know what they're getting themselves into. So there is going to be a 
very mini, mini, mini <laughs> video review. Uh, so yeah, I got up to chapter, uh, the middle of chapter two on Halo 2, and it was just, I, I want to experience it because I saw Cortana, the way that she was upgraded. Oh my gosh, I saw the different characters, the way that they were upgraded. Everything just looks so good. So yeah, that's that for Halo 2. Again, I apologize. So also a little bit of update on the game playthroughs. There's going to be three playthroughs that are going to be on the channel. Fallout 4, as you guys know, because the first video was uploaded last week, which you guys really seem to enjoy. There's going to be Lies of P and Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, which Lies of P comes out tomorrow. So I'm really excited to record the first episode for that. And then there's also going to be Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty, which when that comes out, as soon as it drops, I'm going to record the first episode. That way it comes out for you guys either the day of or the next day. The review this week instead of Death's Door is going to be... Um, Cult of the Lamb, because Cult of the Lamb, that review is already all done. It's up on Patreon for those of you who want to check it out. Patreon sign up, by the way, down in the description below for those of you who want to sign up. There's also going to be a new intro video for the channel. Um, there's just going to be a, a bunch of different uploads this week. There's going to be playthroughs. There's going to be, uh, you know, discussion topics. There's going to be you know, just a bunch of different videos. So yeah, expect double uploads, expect, you know, uh, playthrough videos, it, just all of the above. Honestly, it's going to be a very, very busy week. Oh yeah. And I also got my hair cut. So, you know, there's, um, there's, <laughs> there's that. It is such a weight off my shoulders. Um, pun fully intended. It's so strange too, because I have my hair like below, below my chest area. Every time that I would wash it, you would have it. Oh, nice, nice. Wash, wash. You let it go thunk like your neck just goes all the way back. You get freaking whiplash from your hair. And it's lovely. I mean, I love having hair as long as Galadriel. But let's face it here. The upkeep is just absolutely strenuous. <laughs> It's so stressful to try to upkeep long hair in a way that is healthy for the person because my hair was getting long to a point of where it was almost, it was about to reach my butt. And also this is not important. This is not gaming related. It's more food related. I have them in front of me right now because they are, um, they're absolutely incredible. Um, sour strips, not sponsored at all, but <laughs> Mike was hiding it. These are absolutely incredible. They're better than Sour Patch Kids. I said what I said. And with these, it's sweet and then it's sour, which is so strange because I'm used to the sour hitting first and then you get the sweet. Like these are, these are pink lemonade. And normally whenever I have things that are either pink lemonade, cherry flavor, it gives off a very like artificial type thing. Like I, oh my gosh, this is so good. <laughs> It's just so good. I mean, food is everything. I love food. I am a foodie. I am a big time foodie, which some of you probably don't know about me, but I am a big time foodie, which this is the perfect kind of gaming food. I mean, like hell, you know, if you're taking a break and you're chilling and you're just having like a little bit of a snack, like a water and these, this is, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. As you guys know, there is a full video of what games I am currently reviewing that are out. I wish there was an option to be able to pin videos to your page that you want to be able to pin because that would be such a cool feature. Or, or in the comments section, YouTube, YouTube, if you're watching, this would be great. Like, you know how you can pin, um, pin a tweet to your Twitter profile. I would love it if that were the same functionality or the same kind of like um, the same thing for your community tab on YouTube, because I feel as if, you know, if you have something important and you want to just, you know, let it marinate, just let it stay there for people. You can have like a pinned comment or a pinned tweet. I know we have pinned comments on YouTube, um, but no, like a pinned to, like a, a, a pin situation. I don't know exactly what to call it. Um, a pinned po pinned post. That's it. A pinned post. A pinned freaking post in the community tab on YouTube. Thank me later. The next episode of Soulsborne Academy is going to be out this week where we're going to be taking on Vicar Amelia. Uh, a little bit of update on the Bloodborne Platinum. I was able to do some co-op actually. <laughs> Uh, over the weekend, because over this weekend, uh, there was free to play uh, on PlayStation. And I was able to do some co-op, get the boss before the Thumerian Queen down. That was successful. Now I just have to take on the Thumerian Queen. And then I'll have like, I think 30, 
Oh my god. I'll have 33 out of 40 achievements, so I'm getting very close, very, very close to Platinum for Bloodborne. And I've already almost clocked 340 hours on Bloodborne. So, I mean, you know, it's it's one of those things of where is if I, I am going to get that achievement. I'm going to get that Platinum this year, hopefully. And then after I take on the Thumerian Queen and beat her, then I'm going to take on Garman and Moon Presence. And then after those are beat, I start an entirely new game to get all of the weapons and all of the, 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 the hunter's tools and everything like that, because that's another achievement that you have to unlock. So I'm going to try to get uh, the three achievements, do all that. Then there will be some live streams on it. It'll be a, a, a whole ordeal. I'll record me trying to get uh, Gearman and Moon presence. Definitely. Those are definitely going to be recorded. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Watch out for those videos. And that's, 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 you know, that's it. I'm, I don't have, I don't have anything else to say. What do you want me to say? <laughs> but if you guys like my face and what I do, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell down below. I make videos every day here on YouTube. May you find your worth in the waking world, dear hunter. Stay casually nerdy, and I will see you all in the next video. Umbasa.